let's have a look at the Coach Morgan collection. Is it worth it? Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I am checking out the Coach Morgan collection. Now, this is a collection I've been having an eye on for a while, so I hope this is helpful for you when you're deciding on a bag in that collection. Before I get started, if you like the content on the channel, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for considering and on with the video. So you haven't seen this collection yet. Uh, this is the Morgan collection. If you look it up on the coach website, there's around like 39 different items. The Coach Morgan bag comes in like multiple versions. There is like the top handle satchel and also they have like a saddle bag. So there's like quite a few and I want to dedicate this full video into looking into the various options if you're debating about picking up these handbags from Coach. The first one is the Morgan top handle satchel. It's currently priced at $244. It's made out of this refined pebble leather and smooth leather combination. It has a slip pocket on the side, which I think is great for receipts, but I probably don't want to overstretch it by putting too many items. It does have this magnetic closure and also a top handle with a two and a three quarter inch drop. It does come with a detachable strap with 22 inch drop which you can adjust to make for shoulder or a cross body option. I think this is like a good size bag, especially if you have something for on the go cosmetic and personal things. It's great for work and casual. And it's that versatile that I can dress up or down. Pretty stylish, I would say, and just so many colors and pattern options available. I do find that the large magnetic closure in the front is a little bit too chunky for me. And I also want to show you some of the colors available because like sometimes they're a lot brighter in the photos than they are in person. This is the Morgan Crossbody in Signature Canva. It's priced at $144. It is a little bit of a smaller bag. I mean, it's more of a wallet on chain, I would say. It's made out of refined pebble leather and smooth leather. And it does have some multi-function pockets on the inside, but don't anticipate on carrying a lot with this one. It's dimensions are seven and three quarter inch in length, four and a quarter inch in height, and one and three quarter inch in width. So just your bare essentials. Now this Morgan card case is new to me. It's priced at $119 right now. You can see it has a magnetic closure and it's meant to be a card case. So you don't really carry a lot with it. I think it's a little bit not my choice given that like how little you can carry with it. I prefer to put that money towards maybe a full size bag that's also available at Coach. Uh, but it is very adorable. It has a chain that comes with it. It's 23 and a quarter inch drop from the shoulder or you can use it as a crossbody. Now in comparison, there's also the Morgan saddle bag, which you see here. Again, slip pocket in the back, probably more for receipts. And then here you can see the, in a different lighting how the colors look like. It's priced at $208 for an extra $90 difference. You can get a pretty much a full size bag. I will probably offer this option. Just want to put it side by side so you can see a difference. This one is size at seven three quarter inch in length, six and three quarter inch in height, and two and three quarter inch in width for the saddle bag. I think this bag is like great for just enough space for when you need it and just on the go with everything. It does dress up and dress down very nicely and it's great for day trips. The removable strap is a really nice feature and allows you to kind of throw on any strap if you want, change up the look and the function of it. Again, it does have the magnetic buckle, which I've heard it's a little bit finicky. It's like sometimes you have to use two hands to kind of making sure that it connects the right way. So that might be one thing to be cognizant of. And also with the snap, I heard sometimes come loose easily and like you, all your items will fall out, which I think defeats the function of a bag. Um, a lot of people comment on how the purse doesn't really fasten nicely or it easily opens. Also keep in mind that some of these straps might not suit you specifically or might be too long especially for the straps that are non-adjustable like the chain straps. So for the saddle bag, it does have lined with suede, so it's not fabric. So it kind of elevates the bag a little bit. 
and in general you can see just there's so many color versions of it it's bound to find something that will fit your wardrobe and your color scheme if you like the style of bag of course the saddle bag is only meant for you to wear as a crossbody so there's no top handle available for you to use so if you are interested in the style bag i would probably go for the morgan top handle as you can see here for the satchel version if you want to have that versatility of doing a crossbody and a top handle the actual bag i do find it looks very elegant very fancy how much does it hold for size reference it does fit a iphone 13 pro max lv key holder like lv victorian wallet a first aid pouch so it's pretty roomy i should mention that the outside slip pocket it's a little bit tight for a 13 pro max especially if you have a case now major con related to this style of bag in this collection in general i've been hearing from a lot of coach lovers is that the magnet close just doesn't work like quite as well unless you have it exactly right and the bag just pops open sometimes and it's hard to close it so it definitely needs two hands to handle it so the magnetic closure can be especially difficult if you're not looking specifically when you're closing it and i find that with the top handle version it kind of pops open a little bit more easily as opposed if you were to wear as crossbody which kind of limits the usage of the bag if you can only use it as a crossbody this one is kind of like a baguette version this is the morgan shoulder bag can carry everything in your daily essentials but i just want to be brutally honest with you guys when i'm checking out at the coach outlet stores all of these bags that i think i love but i also want to bring out like pros and cons related to it so it's not like i always love this bag and looks amazing but like you need to know like what are things you need to watch out for if you're picking up this bag from the coach store because i'm sure if you're spending your money on a coach bag you want to make sure that it provides the function of carrying the items securely beyond just the aesthetic of the bag but here on the website you can see again the morgan collection has a number of different bags but it does have that signature chunky buckle in the front so if you're not into the kind of the chunky buckle logoing this is probably not the collection you're considering but in general i think the bags are quite roomy for what you see it looks compact but like it doesn't look super bulky on you but you can still carry a lot and most of these bags will carry both a short strap and also a longer strap i think the only concern again is more related to the magnet on the purse it needs to be a bit stronger here's how the shoulder bag looks on the model itself i think it just looks fantastic the medic closure does provide some easy access if you need it to and it does fit a coach by full wallet in the bag in case you're curious but i think it can easily switch to a slimmer card holder if you want a little bit more room but generally like a very classy look very beautiful not too bulky and like a great option to consider if you're looking for a bag that will like work for a lot of different occasions i think this top handle version however it looks a little bit more classier don't feel so much as a everyday bag that i would use on the other hand i think it really depends on your style and what your wardrobe's like i think this is just from my point of view like it looks very classy i'm a little bit more sporty sometimes when i'm going out with the kids so i find that this bag might be great for like a night out with the girls going on date night with your hubby but might not be something i would use on a day-to-day -day basis running after my kids if you know what i mean but I just want to show you on the website how some of these bags can look very different as opposed to in person. So I hope you find these helpful in comparing like what you see online. Sometimes the colors just pop a lot more and I find the colors a little bit duller when you see it in person. But not all of us have an outlet store near us so I hope these videos are helpful for you and at the same time for those of you who have an itch to do shopping but you are on a budget hopefully these videos are helpful in just helping with that shopping itch because i know how that can totally come and go so here is the blue denim version that we saw earlier 
can see the color is a bit darker I find on the website and of course the outside slip pocket that I mentioned like may be a little bit tight if you're putting in your iPhone especially if you have a bulkier case which means that again I don't know if it's just a one-off thing about the snap closure just keep coming loose and all the stuff falling out it might be just like a one-off for like this one bag but I do hear that some other coach bag lovers also have the same issue so I thought I'll bring it up in case that may affect your decision or as well when you're picking up the bag at the store maybe you can check out the magnetic closure to see how strong it is because like I think it would be really annoying <laughs> if it keeps staying open or falls open because of that I also have some experience where the side strap one side might keep like coming unattached for the purse and that can be a little bit annoying but I heard that it just depends on the arrangement of how you put on the strap or maybe like don't have both strap on at the same time now this is the card case again like feel like it's quite pricey for a smaller bag like this for $116 let me know what you guys think I think it's just like it's a really cute wallet but I'd rather spend the money on a full-size bag I just find that if I want to get a card case I probably get something a little bit slimmer and also I feel that the micro bag trend phase are kind of running its course so what do you guys think of this review of the Morgan collection I hope that it's helpful for you running both pros and cons related to a lot of these handbags from that collection I think I still have a soft spot for it but I am just a little bit concerned about some of the things I mentioned and if you have this bag in general I would love to hear from you what your experience with it is and that's basically it for the Morgan collection review from coach so what do you guys think is this something you love or you think you'll pass I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And with that said, thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you next time on another mommy review. Take care and stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.